Cutting ties, understanding the phrase in English. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore the phrase, cutting ties. This is a common expression in English, but what does it really mean? Let's dive into its meaning, usage, and some examples to help you understand and use this phrase like a native speaker. So, get ready to expand your English vocabulary. The phrase, cutting ties, refers to the act of ending a relationship, connection, or association with someone or something. It's often used when someone decides to permanently sever their relationship with a person, organization, or even a habit. This decision is usually due to negative reasons, like a disagreement, toxic behavior, or a change in beliefs or values. To understand this phrase better, let's look at some examples. 1. Personal relationships. After years of arguments, I finally decided to cut ties with my friend. 2. Professional context. The company cut ties with its supplier due to ethical concerns. 3. Personal development. He cut ties with his past habits to lead a healthier life. These examples show different contexts where Cutting ties can be applied, emphasizing the idea of ending a relationship or association. Now, let's see how you can use cutting ties in sentences. She had to cut ties with her business partner due to conflicting interests. To move forward, he felt it was necessary to cut ties with his past. The organization cut ties with the ambassador after the scandal. Notice how the phrase is used to express a deliberate and often difficult decision to end a relationship. Understanding synonyms can broaden your understanding of the phrase. Here are some, severing connections, breaking off relations, disassociating, ending involvement. Each of these can be used in similar contexts, but with slight nuances in meaning. I hope this video helps you understand the phrase, cutting ties. It's a powerful expression that conveys the act of ending a relationship, often for significant reasons. Remember, learning phrases like this can greatly enhance your English communication skills. Thank you for watching, and keep practicing your English.